welcome back to my youtube channel so it's been a while i have uploaded video on my channel and today in this video we're going to be taking a look of performance of ios simulators on new m1 mac devices right so uh, my specifications are uh, base model m1 macbook air so remember it has no any fan and having 8 gigabytes of ram and 256 gigabytes of storage so let's fire up the simulator okay so iphone ad has been started let's start another one which is going to be iphone 12 pro max and another one because i have deleted some other simulators so i may be able to run four at a time okay so as you can see iPhone 12, iPhone 11 Pro Max, iPhone 12 Pro Max, and iPhone 8 are available here. All are running simultaneously, and we have uh, set them to graphic quality override to high setting. So we will also take a look of GPU percentage usage. So let's see how much RAM they are currently using. Uh, so let me fire up activity monitor. So here, in the CPU usage, you can see that the CPU usage is around 8%, so it's not a big number. So that may be possible due to the uh, ARM architecture of the chipset M1 inside this uh, laptop. And let's talk about the memory. And we are hitting about 7 gigabytes of memory and uh, around three and a half hundred uh, of swap memory used so it's doing pretty bad a job but you might have noticed there is not much less clutter uh, in the apple uh, ios simulator devices and now you can see that we are hitting about 5.9 percent of cpu usage uh, and the temperatures are around 50 degree celsius so this was a pretty short video about this uh, uh, MacBook and uh, we will for sure bring much, uh, much more testing and video videos about the new M1 Mac. So please consider subscribing this YouTube channel and thanks for watching.